everybody and welcome to your personalized reading for the week of August 17th to the 23rd. So this week we do have a new moon so no matter what cards you choose for your reading and for your energy outlook for the week. This is going to be a really good week for um, everybody to kind of set new intentions, set new goals and plans into motion. The new moon is really kind of a clean slate for everybody. It's a starting point of ideas or goals or um, just different ways of thinking or being. Um, it's a good starting point, good clean slate. So that being said, let's see what the cards have. So you are going to choose between three different piles. So let's go ahead and take a deep breath together in through our nose and out through our mouth. All right, lovely. In just a second, I'm going to show you the cards. Um, so here we go. Da, 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 da. Ignore the suitcase that I haven't put away yet. Uh, pile one, pile two, pile three. Whichever one you feel drawn to, you might be drawn to more than one pile. That's perfectly okay. You might be drawn to all of them. That's fine too. One, two, three. All righty. And if you hear snoring, that is my little senior pup, Norman, snoring over there on the ground. Um, all right. So even if you picked pile one or pile two, I always suggest to kind of listen all the way through the video um, because a lot of the time the energies will kind of intertwine with each other or feed off of each other. And um, also as we're reading through the cards, um, different messages and energies might be coming through at the end too kind of tell you. All right, anywho, so pile one. Oh, real quick, the decks we're using is the Antique Anatomy Tarot and the Oracle of Oddities. Both of these are by Black in the Moon, and then we're also using the Mystical Healing Reading Cards. All right, so if you chose pile one, you have Step Into the Unknown. You have Toxic, and you have the magician. Okay, so first things coming first through you is what in your life are you holding on to that's toxic? This could be ways of thinking, ways of being, this could be habits that you have, these could even be people in your life, it could be TV shows that you're consuming, like content that you're um, consuming and bringing into your life a whole wide array of different things that could be toxic for you. So this week, and I mean, it's really great with the new moon, really think of um, what in your life is toxic. What could you be kind of removing? Um, I mean, the new moon, like I said, is for setting intentions. But so say you have, you know, you're not very active. You're not very physically active. And that's not a very good way of being. You know, we all kind of want to have some sort of physical activity in our lives. So instead of saying, I want to remove not being physically active, you could instead say, I want to bring in more physical activity. So that's an intention that you could set this month and that will counter out the sort of more toxic energy of not moving your body. Um, and movement can look any way for anybody. And that's just one example. Um, but where in your life are you letting toxicity in? Uh, now is a good time to not let that happen <laughs> because whatever in your life that is keeping you that is toxic and it's keeping you small it's preventing you from stepping into the unknown um so there may be something that you're you're wanting to do the magician here um is about tapping into your full potential really tapping into um your best self almost and knowing that you have all of the inner resources in you and in your life to achieve what you want and achieve goals. So there might be, if you picked pile three, there might be something that you've been kind of wanting to do, something you've been thinking about um, moving forward on of kind of stepping into that unknown of like, oh, well, I don't know, is this going to succeed? Is it not? Um, but because you are holding on to some sort of maybe toxic pattern, toxic belief, something not so great in your life, it is preventing you. It's literally blocking you from seeing your full potential. And if you can't see your full potential, you're not going to trust yourself to step into the unknown and to do that new thing, have that new experience, take that new direction. So this week for you, really, really uh, assess what makes you not feel so good in your life, what maybe makes you feel a little small and makes you not realize your full power. So what in your life is toxic that makes you feel powerless? And get rid of that so then you have the confidence to 
approach something new, even if you don't know necessarily how it's going to turn out, you'll have that inner confidence to approach the unknown and not be like totally freaked out about it. All right, so that is pile one. Pile two here, we have examine your integrity. We have explore. And we have king of pentacles. All right, so this week, I if you chose pile two, I wouldn't be surprised if you have some sort of new... Um, business venture or a business opportunity, some sort of new like money making um, opportunity coming your way, or maybe it's an idea that you have, maybe it's a new job, a new um, a new assignment assigned to you at work, it may be a new um, personal business idea, like a side project that you want to do to turn into a business. Um, something involving like career, money, business is going to be happening for you this week. Um, but the thing is with that, is examine your integrity. Remember your integrity. Sometimes, you know, there's a saying, if it's too good to be true, it probably is. Um, that could be relating to this as well. Also, remember, just because it may be like easy, quick money, it may not line up with your integrity. It may not line up with your morals. So really this week, whatever opportunities, financially, career-wise, uh, whatever that comes to you, make sure it lines with your values. Don't ever do something, even if it's for a quick buck, that um, goes against your morals and your personal integrity because that is not that's not going to work out for you in the long run. Whenever we go against our integrity and our morals, um, it's just it never goes well. It's not good for us. It's not good energetically. It's not good uh, mentally and emotionally for ourselves. But if this opportunity does line up with your integrity and your morals, then go for it. Uh, you know, kind of. Don't think twice about it. <laughs> I don't know if that's irresponsible to say, but if it lines up with your integrity and your morals, then go for it. If not, then don't do it. Hold back as even if it sounds like a great opportunity or a great idea, maybe sit back a little bit and see if that opportunity um, maybe gets changed a little bit or a different opportunity comes your way. But it's okay. If this opportunity passes and you pass on it um, because you're honoring your integrity, then just know that at the end of the day, you really did kind of win and something even better will be on its way for you. And then we have explore. Um, I'm gonna take a drink real quick. This I actually don't feel really relates to these two cards. I think these two kind of go together. And this is on its own. Um, this week for you, really explore your inner workings. Really explore how things make you feel, explore how you react to certain things, explore possibly why you react the way that you do to certain situations, sort of just really exploring that inner terrain of yourself, that inner world that is you, that makes you work, it makes you who you are, um, and kind of explore it as sort of an observer, like somebody outside of the situation, um, but just really kind of see your inner workings. And actually, it may intertwine with this card um, because the more you get to know your inner workings and why you behave the way you do or why you think the way you do, you can get really more in tune with your integrity and your morals. Some people are like, well, I don't really know what my morals are or um, how I feel about that situation. So really explore different situations, especially emotionally, that come up for you this week. All right, and pile three, temper your criticism. reward and king of wands interesting that we got two kings this week um the fact that we have two kings i kind of think makes the energy this week a very um i don't want to say aggressive but a very forward moving um sort of masculine energy whereas the feminine energies are a little bit more like receiving a little bit more um like feeling and observing the the masculine energy is more about like doing and action and forward movement um so yeah there's that <laughs> i don't know where i was going with that all right so this week for you pay attention and this kind of goes with this explore card from the last pile um pay attention to how you talk to yourself pay attention to how you talk to others um really this week you, you'll have some opportunities this, this week that will make you face 
the way you talk to yourself and the way you think or talk about others. Uh, so really just kind of be aware of that this week. Uh, be aware of just the things that you say and the things that you think about yourself and about others as well. And you may find that you are being a little bit critical. <laughs> um, nobody likes to admit that, but we all are on some level at some point or another. We are all critical um, and we're kind of a little judgmental as well sometimes for ourselves and for others. So this week, no matter what opportunities or um, circumstances arise, pay attention to how, if you're very critical of it or yourself, and really kind of just assess that and really think about it and take ownership if you are critical. Like, well, why am I being critical? Why, you know, why am I criticizing this person or this thought or this act or this idea? Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think of how to word something without it being like not nice. The thing is, we in life and society right now have all been pretty critical of one another, I think. Um, so I, I think the idea really this week for you and just for anybody, even if you didn't pick pile three, is to be more understanding and less critical. It's so often, it's easy for us to criticize somebody um, rather than trying to maybe see things from their perspective. Um, and we do have the King of Wands here, and he can sometimes be um, very forward, almost like speaks before he thinks kind of energy, which really ties into this. So the reminder here is to really think before you speak. Um, don't be so aggressive with your thoughts and your beliefs. It's okay to have your thoughts and your beliefs, but when it borders on criticism, that isn't productive for anybody. So just kind of watch your thoughts, watch your words, um, see where you are, you know, maybe not thinking the best about yourself or others or a situation and try to kind of um, give people the benefit of the doubt, give yourself the benefit of the doubt as well, rather than just like immediately like lunging. Um, and then we have reward. And I think with this, it's, uh, I'm, I'm getting the feeling of it. Okay, so it's hard when people we don't agree with people's actions. It's hard when we see people doing things that we don't think that they should be doing um, or that we don't necessarily agree with. But the thing that happens when we're just so critical of others and ourselves, um, we put that this wall between us and other people. We even put a wall between ourselves, different elements of ourselves or aspects of ourselves. And when we do that, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good to have things or people or situations or thoughts or ideas boxed in, um, closed off. At the end of the day, it really doesn't feel good. And it takes a lot of energy to like keep up that like, I am critical of this and I'm not changing my mind. Um, I'm not saying you have to agree with people that you don't agree with, um, but maybe just take that wall down a little bit. And that's gonna be the reward. It's not always easy to kind of take those bricks of that wall down, but there really is such a reward. And these images here of the growth is really standing out. You will have the reward of growth, of personal growth. You'll have the reward of feeling more connected to other people in the human race, um, which we need a lot of, even if people have differing views, we need more connection. Um, but so by being less critical and less, um, so quick to react or to speak, um, if you take a moment and step back, you'll have that reward of that growth, that personal growth and that, um, that community connection with others. All right, so that is the reading. If you'd like a personal reading for yourself, if you have a specific question or whatever, I do offer two different types of readings, email readings and live video readings. So head to my website, all the information is down below. Down below. Um, anyway, hope you have a great new moon and great week and talk to you guys later. Bye.